Hey, what is good, world? It is your mother sucking boy, the Session. And you see, the Prince of Turtleneck is back, the salt of the snacks. I am here today with a highly requested video. I saw that and knew that this would be able to help some people. And the topic today is are or is vegan meat healthy? Are meat substitutes healthy? I'm here to answer that question for you, cover it for you today. And without further ado, you know what I ask you to do. Join the Manifestor gang. You could do that by hitting the like button below, hitting the subscribe button, as well as hitting that bell notification so you know when the kid is always alert, when you see my beautiful face, you understand me? I love you. Without further ado, we're going to get into the video, but I need you first to add me on Instagram at the session CA because you got to show your auntie who's feeding your mind, your body your soul, and your spirit. And that's me. That's what I'm here to do. Give you all videos that always are constantly feeding you in some way. I'm feeding them ears through music. I'm feeding that mind through the enlightenment. I'm feeding that stomach and body through the delicious vegan meals. And I'm feeding that spirit through the spirituality talk we convey here. So without further ado, let's get started and let's dive right in. Okay, had to scoot a little bit closer so I can really give you the in-depth answer. So first off, first things first, if you stay to the end of the video, and you have an iPhone, you are in luck. I'll be picking one of you. I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, th these are just some iPhone 10 cases. This, this is a bit older of a model, but if you're like me and you haven't updated your phone yet, I have not upgraded. I still got the 10. It still works beautifully. Um, you know, I'm saying still sexy. So I haven't upgraded, but if you still have an iPhone 10 or you want to give this some to someone or you know someone that does and you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is stick to the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you how to enter. All right, but let's get into it. So is vegan meat healthy? Um, or is regular meat healthy? Or um, what are the differences between the two? What are some meat substitutes? I'm gonna give you all. <coughs> Damn, Mary Jane got me. I'm gonna give you um, some answers on what actually is the healthy alternative. And not opinionated or opinion based per se. I just want to give you the, the insight. These are the facts. Um, it's not going to be a super long video, but I do want to give you in depth answers. Okay. So, first things first is regular meat healthy? I'm going to tell you it has a lot of, a lot of cholesterol. And anything you put in your body, whether that be the deodorants, I made a video on that, the deodorants we use, the lotions, the perfumes, the alcohol, the whatever we put in our body, if you keep your cell phone near your your Johnson all day, you know what I mean? These are eventually going to have some sort of um, result in the body, and these are car carcinogens. And when you continuously put a lot of carcinogens in your body, um, whether that be through ingestion, whether it be orally, whether it be topicals you put on your skin or on your body, these things are carcinogens and they will, they will leave impurities in your body and cause the body harm, um, can cause inflammation, and like I say, eventually, ultimately cancer. Um, vegan meat is the only meat that does not have the only meat, um, that, that does not have cholesterol and cholesterol is one of the key factors when it comes to cardiac disease. Okay. So ultimately it's a, it's a step in the right direction. Um, when you, cause there's no cholesterol, you hear what I'm saying? Not only are you not hurting animals, number one, animal agriculture alone is responsible for over 60% of the carbon emissions or carbon footprint that we have in this world. So with that being said, that means the way we raise animals, we literally raise them to kill them. If they're not going in zoos, we're killing them, making fashion is the number one culprit. We're making jackets and coats and all these Balenciaga goofy shit or whatever it is that we purchase. We're testing on animals. These are products, whether it be cosmetics, um, different toiletries, we're testing the, this shit on the animals. Animals, um, also are just solely raised for agriculture, for farming, for food. But every time an animal breathes and we're force feeding and force forcing these animals to have intercourse, like even with the bees to the point where they're actually taking the sperm out of a bee, killing the male bee, impregnating forcefully into honeybees when honeybees are the number one populator of the world. So animals play a vital role in this world. And I know we think, because we can walk, we can talk, we can create, we can say all the shit, we run the world, but we don't. The the, the world is a, a systematic thing. Everything is balanced, okay? This is an ecosystem. It's a system. It's not called the human world. This is a system. 
we all inhabit this place and we all share things. So the honeybees are the number one cross pollinator of anything that's moving around here, any, I guess, mammal or living thing. Just by them being around, they take pollen around the world, keep flowers going, keep wildlife going. If we continue to kill wild bees and for honey and for whatever the, the hell else we're doing, we are ruining the ecosystem. We cannot even, we won't even live a full year with, if bees became extinct. They're bringing other bees from different places to mix pollinate with the, with the honeybees. I know it sounds like I'm going on a tangent, but honey is something that most of us use frequently. It's very good and very good for, for you. If you're going to use honey, uh, try to use the most humane way, mainly it's probably going to be local, that they source the honey naturally. Do not cause these bees any harm. If you do need a different sweetener, use stevia or agave. Um, back to the animals. Animal agriculture altogether causes more carbon emissions than any type of transportation made on Earth. Planes, trains, Vespas, Hondas, Lamborghinis, all those things combined together don't do as much damage to the Earth as we do with animal agriculture. We're cutting down farms, all this other goofy shit. So that's one reason to, to just try vegan meat as a substitute um, when the animal is going to pass away, right? So if you're going to eat regular meat, if an animal is going to pass away when it's in a slaughterhouse, and if it's a pig, for example, there's over like 2,000 slaughterhouses in America alone just for pigs. So if it knows it's going to pass away, it then starts to become dehydrated. It starts to release um, lactic acid. Um, it starts to be frightened and releases different chemicals into the into its body before being slaughtered. So then it's packaged and who eats it? Do you think when they kill this animal and it's letting off all these toxins, this lactic acid, this dehydration, the scarcity, the feelings, the actual energy, when you eat that, you get the energy. You inherit that energy. So you ever walk around and you, oh man, I don't feel so good. You ever eat a big meal filled with dairy and meat and you feel, oh, I'm so tired, so bloated, so congested. You've inherited all the negative energy that came from slaughtering that animal. You've inherited all the negative energy that came from the person who was slaughtering that animal and all the sicknesses, disease, and bacteria that the animal had in it. Whether it's a pig, chicken, cat, dog, bat, whatever. Whatever you're eating, you inherit that energy. So I'm not telling you it's good or bad. I'm simply saying if cholesterol, especially LDLs are bad for the heart and meat has a shit ton of them and meat is ruining the world and all of our ancestors come to find out, lived on earth where we live off fruits, berries, plant-based diets for thousands of years. The majority of the people who started eating meat only ate meat when scarcity of crops were available or they were on the hunt because a lot of people didn't even have these kind of thumbs that could go hunt animals on a consistent basis to eat chicken, different quails and birds and fish every day. You have to go catch these things. And I know a lot of you are out there Oh, Sash, man, you know, but Mexicans, we just love to eat meat. Or, but, but African-Americans, we just love to eat meat. I'm Asian, we love to eat. Stop the excuses. Everybody eats meat. You think you're the only person that got family that eat meat? Huh? Everybody eats it. But I guarantee you all of them people have some sort of your parents or your grandparents or in your family. There's someone that has health problems. Five to six people out of every 10 people are going to develop diabetes or cancer. We have the 54th worse life expectancy in America. We spend most of our GDP on chronic health care, chronic health care and illness. So that's just trying to fight simple shit. We're out here looking at COVID and Corona. Meanwhile, diabetes, cancer, HIV, um, even as asthma, eczema, these things can be altered just through the diet, just changing your diet. So eating meat, substitutes can help you if you continue to eat meat and you've seen people in your family or people you know around you get sick what's that telling you about the dairy what's that telling you about the meat anything can change you have the ability to change at any point and i'm not telling you what to do i'm simply saying here are the facts next vegan meat substitutes what are they there's so many literally they're endless but I know a lot of you are just waiting for someone to tell you what's deemable as a meat alternative or a meat substitute. In reality, anything that's not actual meat, dairy, can be turned into a meat substitute. What do I mean, Sash? What do you mean? Lentils, tofu, king oyster mushroom, lobster mushroom, trumpet mushroom, 
white button mushroom. Um, what else we got? Seitan, tempeh, chickpeas, veggie burgers, jackfruit, banana blossoms. There's so many different options that, yes, it takes educating yourself to understand what are what are my choices as if I don't want to eat meat, what am I supposed to eat? Uh, you can figure it out. Obviously, you can come see me or you can come see someone. Go to YouTube. Check some shit out. Check some recipes out. It's worth the effort to try. Um, there's various meat substitutes. There's only one type of the animal that you're killing. So we can go out and we can grow different plants, our own at our home around the world and get all these delicious mushrooms and, and different funguses and treats and vegetables and vegetation, things that we <laughs> grow out of the earth in which we come from, or we can kill off the things in which that are feeding us. There, there's a saying that says you teach a man to fish, he eats forever, right? That's a symbolic thing. If you teach him how to, if, 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 if all that we're doing is learning how to slaughter animals and we're going to kill all the animals until we're extinct, what you're doing is teaching the younger generation and your fellow peers that humans are the best, we do what we want, and we can ruin the world, and we are responsible for it. Take that for what you wish. When it comes to the vegan meats, I want you to understand, vegan meats can also be bad. Just because some shit is vegan does not mean it's automatically healthy. Please understand that. Because you understand, french fries are vegan. Fried rice is vegan. Soda is vegan. You understand? So that, let's not get caught up by the 100%. They're going to put a lot of words on your packaging. 100% cage-free, pasture-raised, um, free-range. They're telling you they still slaughtered your animals. And if it's vegan, they're telling you uh, you, could buy be you could buy bell peppers. And they could say all these cool fancy words on it, locally grown. But if it don't say organic, that means they sprayed it with chemicals to make it one uniform size. If it says cage-free and free-range, that just means they let the birds or animals or whatever it is run what usda deems is far enough guidelines around the fence and then they slaughter them so it's it's still inhumane there's no humane way to take a life of something that you don't control you can't just go down the street and like hey jennifer how you doing bah! good day jennifer you're going to take your ass to jail so not sure why it's not the same case when it comes to animals and making things extinct but i'm simply saying um a lot of culture you know the world started in africa from an african-american woman um, africa used to be the most abundant place and before pangea everything was close together one continent and people were surviving you can even go to um, different readings of of um, egyptian culture and finds and tombs of the actual people they have perfect teeth they had flushing toilets they had good skin and genes they lived healthy lives that's because they ate plant-based diets Sometimes it's a little far-fetched. Y'all think like, if, if it was the year 600, how do you think people are just outside getting chickens? You think they can go to Walmart, uh, uh, <laughs> Safeway, um, Giant, whatever store you have, Whole Foods or whatever, you think they can just go buy chicken legs? You think they can just go in the ocean and just grab a salmon who is swimming 25 miles plus per hour that will break your arm you try to grab it? You can just go grab a whole salmon out of the water and just every day just rock out no no that didn't happen you had to it had to be certain circumstances where these humans caught the animal most of the time the animals were actually the sacred thing and the animal was only eight if it perished for non uh, 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 uh sickness related reasons or as it perished they used the skin for wool and jackets and things of this nature it's, it's very important to educate ourselves and i say all that stuff to say the vegan meats can also be very unhealthy. Um, I know Beyond Meat um, is the one that's very prevalent. Impossible Meat is starting to hit the shelves and hitting the stores as well. Those things are very good. Um, and I'm not sure if they contain tons and tons of fillers and preservatives. I don't believe that they do. But they still have a lot of sodium um, and, you know, different like xanthan gums and gums and things that aren't always absorbable by the body and natural that we need in that amount. Um, I noticed that as I've been eating um, the Beyond Meat, for example, when I eat the sausages from about, uh, Beyond, Beyond Meat, the whatever it be, the Italian or the bratwurst, very delicious, but I noticed that my stomach gets kind of tightened up or, or congested when I eat that. But when I eat just pure, clean foods, 
It could be that there's gluten in the sausage. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm developing a intolerance to gluten because I've changed my diet. I'm not sure. But one thing I do know is when I eat those not as frequently, the Impossible Meats, um, the Tofurkeys, whatever other company, even Daya, those things are vegan. But don't be swayed because they have high omega-6 oils, um, very processed oils in them, and they cause inflammation. So please be aware that just because something's vegan does not automatically deem it healthy. I just want you to understand that the meat replacements I listed to you, the lentils, the various hundreds of types of mushrooms, um, the tempehs, even very, very good local natural made tofu can be very healthy for you. There's plenty of Asian markets. Instead of going to supermarket, get tofu. Take yourself to an Asian market where they import ingredients from their actual land, from places in Asia where they're getting you the actual tofu, the actual product. Just takes a little more effort. But once you do that, you'll feel better. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you as a result. I ate meat for most of my life. Almost four years, I have not. And I feel amazing. Look how amazing the skin looks. I, you know what I mean? It's the prince of the snacks. I'm not going to lie to you. I have nothing to give you but game. I'm here to feed your mind. Um, so that's where I stand on it. Just because something is vegan does not deem it automatically healthy. Please make sure you read the back. I can guarantee you all know who the vegans are in the supermarket because we the people in the back reading. Okay, we got to read all the labels because we want to know what we're putting in our body. Call us weird if you like for wanting to know what goes in our bodies. And do me a favor when you see a person trying to change their life and eat vegan. Don't be rude to them and and, and ask them, well, what's in that? Well, what is, that's not even good for you. You're, you don't even know what's in your beef. Where does your beef come from? Who made that burger? How much fat's in that burger? Where was the farm at? How did they treat that cow? What kind of diet did the cow eat? You don't know, but you'll go out and buy a $2 cheeseburger, but judge a person who's eating, who's looking to do something to better themselves. So all I ask is that you think with the information I told you and taught you and was able to come up with myself um, if you need some ways, oh, how do I make uh, vegan, chi vegan, vegan chicken? How do I make vegan duck? How do I make the vegan scallops? Oh my, you're here. You come to the right guy. And you, the vegan chicken video is already out. We are about to touch 4,000 views on that. I'm very grateful of that. Make sure you go check that out. Um, I got my homie Aj in it. We made some delicious vegan fried chicken. Healthy. No cholesterol. Not in sight. And it literally was made out of three ingredients. You tell me. You bring the girl over. Or sh ladies, you bring the guy over, you make that vegan chicken that's smelling aromatic, you got the sage burning, you chilling, everybody's relaxing, drinking that alkaline water. Get you some sides on there, come on now. If y'all ever need help, you know what you can do. You can check out the cookbook, pop that up on the screen, the seven meal vegan, the simple seven meal vegan. If you also need any more help with the motivation, hey man, I need to, I want to know how to make more money. I want to quit my nine to five. I want to get more clients. I really have this job opportunity. I really have this entrepreneur idea, but I'm scared to chase it. I'm here. Make sure you click the description below because that's where my course is. Give me a visit on Instagram, whatever you need, especially the recipes. I'm here for you. Vegan chicken recipe. Make sure you go check that out. Um, that is it. But as promised, we're going to do the giveaway. This is uh, the teal color. Really dope. This is the red color. Um, I'm going to be giving both of these away. All you have to do is comment below Comment the word Manifestor Gang. That means you're part of the Manifestor Gang. All we do is support one another. Educate each other. Never be too grown or too cocky to, to not accept some information if it's intelligent and it's correct. Be open. Type in Manifestor Gang down below, and then you will be entered into winning both of these cases. I will be picking the winner uh, within the next three days. So I love you. I love you. I love you. Please make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I hope you gain some information from is and are vegan meats healthy. Um, just because something is vegan, I would stay away from the impossibles, the beyond meats. I wouldn't eat those all day. Once a week, once every two weeks, once every three weeks, you know, stuff like that. Get all these different mushrooms. You can even go to Costco. Um, I know I'm from Philly. Um, so we got BJ's over there. <laughs> Pause. But instead of Costco, there's Sam's Club, there's well, anywhere you can go get yourself. Go to a local market. Go to a local market. It is not only for the, the Karens. It's for us, too. Go over there. Go to a local farmer's market. Get get familiar with them. They're going to start giving you deals. It's to the point where I'm pulling up. Bro, I'm friends with old Asian women, old Caucasian people, old Italians because of how I give the energy and the, I'm in, interested in this food. I want to live longer. I want to taste different foods. So 
go out there. The more color the food has, the better for you. Um, another video coming, video every day. I love you. Until next time, whew, stay lit, stay awesome, and stay medicated. You did.